Hello everyone, welcome to another series of today's GK. Let's begin with previous day practice question. Question was, stay safe online campaign is associated with which of the following grouping? G20, ASEAN, BRICS or BIMSTEC? The correct answer is option A, G20. Recently, as part of India's G20 presidency, the Stay Safe Online campaign and the G20 Digital Innovation Alliance, that is G20DIA, was launched. The Minister for Electronics and Information Technology, Communications and Railways has launched this campaign. Hence, option A is correct. The objective of the Stay Safe Online campaign is to raise awareness among citizens to stay safe in the online world. It is due to the widespread use of social media platforms and the rapid adoption of digital payments. The objective of the G20 Digital Innovation Alliance or G20DIA is to identify, recognize and enable the adoption of innovative and impactful digital technologies developed by startups. It is for G20 nations as well as the invited non-member nations. Now let's begin today's session. First question is, in the context of Indian fairs and festivals, the Tirth Dhanam Mahotsav is associated with which of the following Indian states? Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh or Telangana? The correct answer is option B, Kerala. Recently, the Defence Minister of India addressed the congregation of saints and learned elders gathered at Sivagiri Math, Kerala to celebrate the Tirth Dhanam Mahotsav. Hence, option B is correct. At the beginning of 1928, while the Sri Narayan Guru was camping at Nagampadam Temple at Kottayam, a couple of his ardent disciples, Vallabhaseri, Govindan Vedyan and Kittan writer, mooted the idea of pilgrimage to Sivagiri. The pilgrims should reach Shivagiri in yellow garb as the symbol of devotees after following a brief 10-day austerity based on Sri Buddha's Five Priorities of Body, Word, Mind, Food and Deed Guru underlined the need for education and cultural and moral purity for the yearly meet. January 1, New Year's Day was suggested for the pilgrimage. It should be planned to focus on eight subjects. Education, cleanliness, pity, organized endeavor, agriculture, trade, handicrafts and technical training. Next question is with reference to international geopolitics. The South China Sea is not bordered by which of the following countries? Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia or Cambodia? The correct answer is option D, Cambodia. A US statement said that the Chinese jet came within 20 feet of its aircraft's nose in international airspace over the South China Sea recently. The South China Sea is among the most volatile regions of the world. Lying just south of the Chinese mainland, it is bordered by Brunei, China, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Taiwan and Vietnam. Hence, option D is correct. The sea has untapped oil reserves, natural gas and fishing areas. It also has some of the most active shipping lanes on the planet. China claims the sea as its exclusive economic zone, arguing that other countries do not have the right to conduct any military or economic operation without its consent. This claim is disputed by the Southeast Asian countries and in 2016, the Permanent Court of Arbitration issued its ruling on a claim brought against China by the Philippines under UNCLOS. It ruled in favor of the Philippines on almost every count. However, China, which itself is a signatory to the UNCLOS, refused to acknowledge the court's authority. Next question is, consider the following statements regarding the remote voting machine, that is RVM. 1. It will be able to handle 72 constituencies in a single remote polling booth. 2. The remote voter will have to pre-register for the facility. Which of the above given statement or statements is or are not correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. The correct answer is option D, neither one nor two. That is, both the statements are correct. The Election Commission of India or ECI has asked the political parties to attend a demonstration of the prototype RVM on January 16, 2023. 
वर्किंग विद द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया अ कंपनी अंडर द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ एटॉमिक एनर्जी द ई सी हैज कम अप विद अ प्रोटोटाइप आर वी एम इट इज अ मॉडिफाइड वर्जन ऑफ द एग्जिस्टिंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वोटिंग मशीन दैट इज ई वी एम इट विल बी एबल टू हैंडल सेवेंटी टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसीज इन अ सिंगल रिमोट पोलिंग बूथ हैंस स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट The special remote polling booths would be set up in different states when elections are on in the home state of migrants. The remote voter will have to pre-register for the facility by applying online or offline with the returning officer of the home constituency. Hence statement 2 is also correct. Therefore option D is correct. The special polling stations would then be set up in the places of current residence of the remote voters. The RVM is a stand alone and non networked system. The system would have a device similar to the VVPAT so voters can verify their votes. Next question is in the context of Indian biodiversity red helen common banded peacock malabar banded peacock and spotless grass yellow are aves mammals butterflies or marine fish. The correct answer is option C butterflies. Recently a butterfly survey was conducted for the first time in Mudumalai Tiger Reserve that is MTR. The reserve not only provides crucial habitat for a variety of endangered species of birds and mammals but is also home to 175 species of butterflies. All 175 butterfly species were classified under the butterfly families 12 species of swallowtails, 22 whites and yellows, 53 brush-footed butterflies 48 blues, two metal marks, and 38 skippers being recorded. The 688.5 square kilometer reserve is home to 175 species of butterflies. It includes the red helen, common banded peacock, Malabar banded peacock, spotless grass yellow, chocolate albatross, Nilgiri tiger, common sergeant, and black vane sergeant. Hence, option C is correct. Highlights of the survey include sighting of yellow jack sailor a species from Nymphalidae which is known to appear very rarely in Tamil Nadu the species was sighted from the Kargudi range of MTR and is only the second photographic sighting for the state the state butterfly tamil yeoman was also recorded during the survey next question is recently the flashlight space craft was in the news it is related to which of the following countries USA Japan Canada or France the correct answer is option A USA US space agency NASA's lunar flashlight spacecraft is currently on its 3 month journey to the moon it is hitched a ride about the SpaceX M1 mission that launched i space lander and the rashid rover the spacecraft is a small satellite that is about the size of a briefcase the mission's trajectory will take the spacecraft far beyond the moon before the combined gravity of the earth and the sun helps it settle into a science gathering lunar orbit hence option a is correct while in the lunar orbit it will swoop low over the moon's south pole where it will use lasers to shed light on dark craters it is known that water exists in lunar regolith that is soil but scientists do not yet understand whether the floors of these craters are covered by surface ice frost the lunar flashlight is designed to help scientists probe this next question is consider the following statements regarding the national commission for women that is ncw one it was set up as a constitutional body in 1992 Two, the first NCW chairperson was Jayanti Patnaik. Which of the statement or statements given above is or are correct? One only, two only, both one and two, or neither one nor two. The correct answer is option B, two only. Recently, the National Commission for Women or NCW has asked all states to ensure strict implementation of the sexual harassment at workplace law by coaching centers and educational institutes the national commission for women was set up as statutory body in january 1992 under the national commission for women act it aims to review the constitutional and legal safeguards for women and recommend remedial legislative measures it facilitates redressal of grievances and advises the government on all policy matters affecting women Hence statement 1 is not correct. The first commission was constituted on 31st January 1992 with Mrs Jayanti Patnaik as the chairperson. The current chairperson of NCW is Mrs Rekha Sharma. 
Hence, statement 2 is correct. Therefore, option B is correct. Next question is, in the context of the West Asian region, Strait of Hormuz connects Persian Gulf to the Gulf of Oman, Persian Gulf to the Gulf of Aden, Gulf of Oman to the Gulf of Aden or Gulf of Oman to the Gulf of Aqaba. The correct answer is option A, Persian Gulf to the Gulf of Oman. Recently, Iran holds joint military drill near strategic strait of Hormuz. Iran has held joint naval air and ground exercises in the Gulf near the strategic strait of Hormuz waterway. Iran, which opposes the presence of US and Western navies in the area, holds annual military exercises in the Strait of Hormuz. Strait of Hormuz connects the Persian Gulf with the Gulf of Oman and the Arabian Sea southeast. Hence, option A is correct. The strait is 35 to 60 miles wide and separates Iran north from the Arabian Peninsula south. It is crucial to global energy supplies with about a fifth of all oil traded at sea passing through it. Next question is, she was born on 19 June 1945, Yangon, Myanmar. She got the Nobel Peace Prize in 1991 for her non-violent struggle for democracy and human rights in Myanmar. Identify the correct option according to the above given description. Kim Kyong Hui, Yoon Soo Kyol, An Sang Soo Ki or Kim Kyon Hee. The correct answer is option C, Aung San Suu Ki. Recently, a Myanmar military court has sentenced Aung San Suu Kyi to a further seven years in prison, taking her overall jail time to 33 years. The country's former democratically elected leader has been under house arrest since a military ousted her government in a coup in February 2021. The 77-year-old Nobel laureate has spent most of her time in detention under house arrest in the capital Ne Pi Tho. She is the daughter of the legendary liberation movement leader Aung San. She is the leader of the National League for Democracy. She got the Nobel Peace Prize in 1991 for her non-violent struggle for democracy and human rights. Therefore, option C is correct. Next question is, Akhilandeshwari Sameta Gotanda Ramaswamy Temple was recently in news. It is situated in which of the following state? Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu or Andhra Pradesh? The correct answer is option C, Tamil Nadu. Recently, the idol wing CID personnel traced three antique idols, including a Nataraj idol. It was missing for over five decades, stolen from three temples in Tamil Nadu. It has been traced in separate museums abroad, that is in France, New York and USA. The large Nataraj idol had been stolen with three other metal idols from the Akhilendeshwari Sameta Gotanda Ramaswamy Temple in Kovilpatti, Tamil Nadu. Hence, option C is correct. Last question is, in the context of government schemes and policies, what is the main objective of Vibrant Villages Program? Development of infrastructure in villages along India's border, development of villages in Nexal affected districts, development of villages which comes under aspirational district program or development of villages which are in proximity to protected areas. The correct answer is option A, development of infrastructure in villages along India's border. Recently, Home Minister of India has given the information regarding Vibrant Villages program. The program aims to improve infrastructure in villages along India's border. He urged all the border security forces that through the Vibrant Village program, they should make efforts towards increasing tourism in the village. It would make the village self-sufficient with complete facilities. He said that the security of the border can be ensured only when the border villages are populated. Therefore, option A is correct. Now it's time for the practice question. Prajwala challenge is associated with which of the following ministries or institutions? Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Securities Exchange Board of India, Ministry of Rural Development or Niti Aayog? Send the answer of this question in the comment section. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.